Hello and welcome to the Hollywood Hot 100, your super fast showbiz news with a hint of sarcasm. But we do start today with a very sad story. Yes, music legend Prince has died today, aged only 57 years old. It's crazy, isn't it? He was found at his compound in Minnesota and this after cancelling a couple of concerts recently in Atlanta. One of which, though, he did play last Thursday night. Everything seemed fine until on the way home, his plane had to make an emergency landing because of a health issue and then he was hospitalised. But Prince made a reappearance on Saturday at a dance party where he told fans, wait a few more days before you waste any prayers. Then of course we hear today the tragic news that he passed away. Now as well as being an incredible performer, he was also a prolific songwriter and you might not know that these three songs were his. The Bangles, Manic Monday, it's a classic isn't it? Shaka Khan, I Feel For You and Sinead O'Connor, Nothing com Compares To You. Yeah, that's, uh, never mind. <laughs> Queen of Auto-Tune Mariah Carey stepped out in a very risque outfit tonight over in Paris ahead of her much-anticipated concert. As you'll see here, she wore an extremely plunging frock which barely scanned her boobs, one of which popped out to say bonjour to the waiting cameras. And of course, it's not the first time that we've been treated to Maz's side boob and ample wedge. Now then, how about this? And, and do you remember? How did you forget? Yes, as well as showing tons of skin, she also managed to show off her massive $10 million engagement rock given to her by now fiancé James Packer. Mariah seems very happy with James, who just last year was pictured outside his home in Sydney brawling with his ex-best friend, apparently in a row over the treatment of his ex-wife. Well, however you dress this up, one thing's for sure, you can't hide class. <laughs> And finally, the Queen turned 90 today. Happy birthday, Mum! She kicked off the celebrations with a walk around Windsor to meet a rowdy rabble of commoners. You can never have too many gas station flowers, can you? Sunglasses were a must, not just because it was a crisp, sunny spring day, but also because the Queen, who has magpie tendencies, wore a high-res jacket, which was designed by Angela Kelly for the occasion. After some gun salutes, she went on to cut her official birthday cake, which was baked by Nadia Hussain. She was the Great British Bake Off winner. Then in the evening, there was a black tie event organised by Prince Charles, who had to have a word with his sister, Princess Anne, telling her, maybe don't wear the jaunty hat on this occasion in case you get confused with a competition winner. Well, I'll tell you what, Your Majesty, I may have left your kingdom, but of all the queens I know, you're still my favourite one. <laughs>